Telegraph kickoff with a humble Sakia caught whizzing about, enjoying the kind of luxury normally only accorded to the likes of Gary Lineker. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're talking hypocrites here. This is a very frustrating article, and I'll just mm. very quickly say why. So, uh, Sakia Starmer branded hypocrite over 25,000 private jet to COP28 provided by Qatar. Now, the reason he's actually a triple hypocrite, okay. if you look at it in a certain way. Number triple one, triple hypocrite, yeah. Number one, he's around COP28. It's all about, uh, you know, less fuels and saving the world and stuff like that. Going on a private jet as it does that. Number two is because he's criticizing the past Rishi Sunak. And even though uh, that's not Keir Starmer's private jet, still using a private jet, doesn't look to criticize someone else using private jets, okay. then you're going on a private jet. And, um, and number three is he said in the past he won't go to Qatar when it was like the football and yeah. damn their human rights abuses. So there's a triple hypocrite thing. But that stuff is bad enough, yet the Telegraph have done a very annoying thing here where they're being deliberately accused about the fact in the headline, which is slightly misleading, and also about this private jet, because the private jet was actually provided by the Qatari government and paid for by them. And the way they word it later on, they say it, it cost him and the three staffers, it cost £25,000. Mm. They didn't pay that money. No. That's the difference. So they're trying to be like, look at him, he's char he's paying twenty five grand to go private Qatar jet. Qatar paid that money to bring his staff to, to bring Qatar. him, yeah, in a private jet as opposed to whatever. So I'm not saying that what he's done is good. He has been a hypocrite. Yeah. Yet you don't need to, I don't need a code telegraph mm. to get to the bottom of the bad stuff he's done. You don't have to... You make it worse you by... You seem to be under the impression that the telegraph is there to try and deliver a clear... Like, well, you know what? Form. Reading these papers and being the, doing this for the last few years, mm. the telegraph has surprised me the most out of all of the papers, and I feel has been the best at breaking down certain narratives. Now, okay. I understand they come from a certain political... So they've political, disappointed you. They've disappointed me here, fair because enough. I feel like, actually, <laughs> they're one of the few papers I could go to and go, this, let's be fair here. It's not just outright propaganda. And this is disappointing, I'm sorry. What do you think, Nick? Well, it's funny that you think they've, uh, the Telegraph's better than you thought. It's just that you've become more conservative than yeah. you realise. It just gradually happened well, to it's you. Good but, um, it's a good website. Uh, but, um, yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, Josh is right. It, it, the triple hypocrite, absolutely. Um, and he, it's funny because he talked about Sunak and said the, the view on the ground is very different to that from his private jet. Turned out that was personal experience. He was just recalling yeah. his own private jet and yet, void. And yet although I don't like him, I, I don't think this quite sticks because I just mm. don't feel Keir Starmer is in it for the private jets. Do you know what I mean? I, don't, I just don't think he's somebody who would have taken particular pleasure in that aspect of the job. It would have made yeah. him awkward, I suspect. And he's going over for a specific reason, because it was all when Israel was kicking off and yeah. Qatar was housing the, uh, yeah. the, the Hamas terrorist leadership. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not something that he's deliberately saw. And there are pictures of him squashed shoulder to shoulder on various Ryanair flights, aren't there? Well, there have to be. And he gets the <laughs> photographers right there. So, terrible <laughs> person, though, he is. Go yeah. on, Nick. The, the, well, I just because I said one tiny thing, and you guys went on for ages and ages, but it's not that interesting to me. The, the point is... Will it change, much as you're saying, will it change anyone's vote? I mean, is Josh yeah. going to not vote Labour because of this? I doubt it. I haven't said